Well, I know one airline that definitely shouldn't fly here. Yeah, yeah, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to an island. This is the Canary Island of La Gomera, which uh, is a very small island, actually. <laughs> yeah, but of course, even a small island like this does need its own airport, and it does here, La Gomera, which uh, you can find right here. This is the 1500 meter long runway airport here that you can find, and it has some very interesting features. And let me just say it's the terrain that's the most interesting part of this uh, airport for sure. I mean, look, this is a totally volcanic island. There is no flat land anywhere, no flat terrain where you can build a proper runway. Uh, the only place they could find probably here again was, was the coast and, uh, well, it's, uh, they have done quite a bit of a good job, right? But for sure, again, Pegasus Airlines shouldn't be flying here. <laughs> this is what the airport looks like in the flight simulator and this is quite a huge cliff. Uh, as you can tell here, we're spawned into the 737 MAX. Thing, the thing is, though, this plane is totally way too big for this airport like completely I mean <laughs> oh uh, I'm having trip okay this is a coincidence I'm just having trouble with my rudder pedals they're not they're not working are they all right plugged back in this is working but what we could just see is that just with a slight mishap of for example the rudder pedals not working you can immediately see some d dead people proud genuinely this is very dangerous of an airport, isn't it? And actually, the 737 MAX is way too big for this 1500 meter long runway anyway. So, time to step it down a bit. Something that is more suitable for a place like this is, of course, a turboprop airliner like this. This is, of course, as you can tell, the Q400 by Bombardier with a Qantas Link uh, livery, which is literally Australia. But that's one other story. But actually, the only plane that really is scheduled to fly here anyway is the ATR. This is an ATR 42, a pretty small sized turboprop plane, but it still is one of the biggest planes to have ever come here. I mean, this kind of plane is great for a place like this. It doesn't need a long runway as it's a turboprop and it does seat passengers. That's the point. This is not a super large island, so it doesn't need that much of tourists anyway. As we try to come in then for a landing here with the SKU-400, I've never actually flown this add-on plane here in the flight simulator. Now again, 1500 meters off a runway lies ahead of us. It's not really that long of a runway after all, but actually, to be honest, I think it should be somewhat workable for most airliners. I mean, we can find that out later on. Maybe you could fly something bigger here than the ATR. Now, that uh, airline that flies here, really the only airline called uh, Binter Canarias, they only connect this place to two other islands here. Oh my god. That has been the worst landing ever. I <laughs> Really, I'm not good at flying the Q400, I'm sorry. It's always been a hard plane for me to land. I'm not quite sure. We've just had our differences, me and the Q400, right? All right, that's uh, worked though. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about this landing, but we stopped, obviously. May have stopped a little too much, I'm sorry. But no, really, this airport only has two destinations, Grand Canaria, which is like the big airport of the islands here, and uh, Tenerife, and that's all that is to it, pretty much. Yeah, there's not really much to tell about this airport, actually, this, this Wikipedia said it's pretty small. So, let's just try to make this airport interesting by flying some big planes here. How about a jet? The jet equivalent to the Dash 8Q400. A bigger plane. Bombardier CRJ700. Seats 70 people now. This is now actually a proper airliner. All right, CRJ700. Oh, I do like this plane, even though it does kind of suck. It's also called the crappy regional jet, you know, <laughs> because CRJ, yeah. See, actually, one thing I definitely forgot to mention so far was the weather. Of course, especially the winds can be quite tough here around the Atlantic Ocean, so let's just make them a little tough. Okay, so now we have got very bad winds, so there is a bit of a chance that uh, we may just actually run to the left side of the runway. <laughs> okay, great. So I, I guess we will have like a Pegasus 2.0 or something here now. Um, yeah, this is gonna go very well. Okay, I think overall though, this is looking quite nice. Everything here is ready here for the landing. Let's just really do a smooth touchdown. All right, this has actually turned into a bit of a crosswind and the worst frames per second I've had in a video in a long time. Holy moly. Oh, that has been a bad landing. See, we have 30 knots almost of crosswind, something that does sometimes occur here. Ah, I think this is going to work fine. All right, we have stopped very successfully. This has worked somewhat. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the frames per second are absolutely horrible. Maybe we can watch this landing anyway here in the replay. I mean, this did go somewhat well. We may just need to go into maintenance, actually. Let's just check this out really quick. Oh, damn. Yeah, let's just forget about the touchdown. What does count is that we have actually stopped, right? Okay, then. Maybe it's time to try it. Really, the 737 MAX from the beginning that we kind of overran, just like Pegasus Airlines. But I think this is a nice plane, right? Okay, let's try to come in for a landing. See, I think, you know, from the actual runway stats, this should work. Oh, my goodness. See, normally this runway should be long enough for this plane, but not really for usual operation. This could 
be a little tricky, especially again when you have wins, when you have a, a bad piloting mistakes or anything. You do not want to have a Pegasus airline. Get, look at look at that cliff. Absolutely horrible. You really do not want to overrun here. So um, I think the 77 move would be too big, but we can try out some bigger planes anyway here. All right, coming in nicely. We do have quite a bit of wins here again. Holy moly. Okay, let's not crash this plane here. We're back with 20 frames per second around that. RTX 3090, everybody. Let's come and stop now, actually. Huh. Come on, here we go. Now it's time to rev it up the reverse gear. What am I saying? And stop. And I think this is going quite well. Stopping performance isn't, stopping performance itself isn't really the issue. But if you're not focused enough on getting your plane landed properly, especially if like the runway is wet or something, you really do not want to land here on a wet runway, right? Holy moly. But yeah, other than that, pretty successful landing. And this replay here is a little speeded up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll go back to what's the one. All right, then let's maybe even go bigger. Triple seven, how about that? And actually, this is a way better frame per second now. This is, this type face image doesn't Make any sense at all okay let's just get some bad weather in here how about some rain because of course it's not always sunny right you know what they say i cannot actually see anything uh so we're coming for our landing <laughs> great now we may want to turn on the windshield wipers too you know because it's raining and try to aim for a runway wherever that may be it's right in front of us we are way too low there's actually a problem about all these plateau airports that are of course at way higher elevation than the rest of the land it's sometimes it's hard to cope with all of it come on full power on the engines please now we are landing on a wet runway i hope it's not all too wet that we run into some micro oh jesus yeah hydro planning uh, this is uh, we're about to die <laughs> the problem about operating these kind of big planes here is that they are of course way less handleable way less agile than the smaller planes so you know navigating them through the terrain here isn't easy i want to stop now please stop by the way holy moly i'm going full into the brakes this may actually not work this may actually really not work i'm going I'm literally full into the brakes. Okay. I mean, we stopped. That's gone well. But yeah, this is La Gomera Airport. Definitely a magical place. Again, no place for Pegasus, though. So yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. 500, 400, 300, 200, 100, 20, 10, 5, Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emite, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Cheese Doritos, Shadow, Anime Planes, Razor One, X Men Show, Laird, Deslama, Futuring, Kellen, Me By You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Pyrology.